Yeah, good evening, students. So today we will we have come to the last topic of your fifth unit, that is your substation automation system. It is quite a short topic. Okay. So now in the fifth unit, what are the things we have learned? So only the latest trends of production. How you have applied your fuzzy logic? How you have applied your A and then how you have uh, communicated using your fiber optic and microwave relaying? How you have used your FPGA relays? Okay. Now all these things are going to be used for automating your substation. Okay, it is called as SAS. So now, as you know, that green and sustainable power is the need of the day. So because now our main intention is that we have to reduce the gap between the supply and the demand because demand is increasing day by day. Accordingly, to meet the demand, we cannot go on constructing the substation. To an extent, we can construct the substation, but the existing substation has to be utilized effectively. So only from the conventional electromagnetic relays, now we have moved on to your numerical or digital relays. Okay. So here, what you are going to do in your substation automation system is that we have to deliver the power efficiently. Okay. So the main objective is to create a SCADA system for the desired substation. Okay. So whenever I am saying the power is going to get automated, it is nothing but it is going to require the special protection. And if at all a fault occurs, the digital or your adaptive relays will have the ability to change itself as per the conditions. Okay. Furthermore, we are going to use the intelligent electronic device. So they are going to bring the saved data from your switch guards. So and it will be intimated immediately so that uh, um, spreading of your larger disturbances and creating the disasters would be reduced as well as it, en it ensures the safety of the personnel. That is one of the main important concerns. Okay. So now as per the SCADA, we are going to follow the IEC 61860 protocol that is International Electrotechnical Commission for your substation automation. Okay. And also for the protection purposes between your substations. Okay. Now this substation automation system, it is going to provide the facility to control and monitor all the equipments in the substation locally as well as from remote. From remote also I can monitor my equipment as well as locally also. Now this SCADA system, it is going to be provided with a human machine interface. Okay, so a person just sitting before the computer, he can monitor how much is the power flow in the southern states, like how much the power flow is going to the Pondicherry or how much it is going to Andhra. Accordingly, if at all any load is, any feeder is getting overloaded, accordingly he can transfer the power through other feeders. Okay, so I may have, I think uh, we have uh, visited the uh, uh, the station, SCADA station at Mount Road where we have seen. So only by using, mimicking the diagram of the entire grid and SCADA system just in front of a PC, they are able to control and monitor. So what is going throughout the grid, how much is the power flow that is carried out in the grid. Okay, so this saves time as well as your cost. So thus. This substation automation, it provides an important role in control and monitoring in real time and it helps to use or maximize the availability which is there, available usage of the resources efficiently, reliability, ensuring the safety of the personnel too. Okay, so according to this IEC 61850, SAS layout has three levels. One is the station level. Then move on to your day level, then move on to your process level. Okay, so at the station level, if you would have visited the uh, station, okay, so if you would have visited any substation, like last time I've taken the students to Sri Karamatur station, so substation where we have seen that uh, so all the different types of alarming and the annunciator will be in front of you and you'll be sitting in front of a PC and you can monitor each and everything. So, how much is the lab? So, that much advantage has come to be built. Okay, so a redundant PC with your human machine interface, so it can enable the local station control via your package, that is your software package called as Micro SCADA Pro. Okay, so this by this by looking at that, you know how much is the power flow in the line, it just mimics the entire grid. Okay, so this station level, it controls the station oriented functions. Okay, so just alarms or any annunciators. Okay, and a dedicated master clock is also provided for the synchronization of the entire system. That means, say, oh, I've already told you, using your wide area system, all the data are being synchronized to the grid. So this station level monitoring will be controlled or it will be checked at the station level by just using your SCADA system. 
okay what is scanner supervisory control and data acquisition from sitting in a single place you can control the entire grid okay so locally as well as remotely now we'll move on to your bay level bay level is nothing but a bay it comprises of a circuit breaker isolators or switches and your instrument transformers okay at the bay level only you are going to provide your ied okay for control and monitoring purpose you are going to give any commands to them or any status indication whether the oil condition is very that is the temperature in the oil is high or low and the measurements as well as monitoring as well as protection process all will be taken out in your bay level so what is ied intelligent control devices so they are going to be directly connected to the switch gear they will directly get the data in the earlier stages we were using transducer and transducer converts one form of energy to another form then the losses exist sometimes there is a probability of error being added in it so no such condition so in the advanced setup we are using your ied and each bay is going to have its own ied so there is no interdependency and it is not going to get affected by other bays fault condition at all okay now we'll move on to your process level process level is nothing but you are going to the switch yard okay where you are going to have your hardwired copper cables and now uh, when we have visited this uh, sri parvathur substation we have seen this fiber optic cables so already we have seen that fiber optic relaying has been used for your uh, local uh, communication okay so actually in the third unit we have learned about your power line carrier communication where we have used this wave and line strap okay signals for proper communicating so we had a opportunity to see this also and the data has been facilitated to the substation only through your fiber optic cabling okay so this fiber optic cables it is used to connect the bay level ieds for control and protection so it is not only the students learn at each level as staffs when we go for your training also we also learn the opportunity because more teaching theoretically instead if you go to a substation and visualize we understand so more practically along with the students okay thus this sas it consists of the main functional parts one it is the human inter machine interface at the station level then you have a gateway for your scada system of course a modern ma master synchronized clock that is your gps receiver and the data is going to be collected via the substation and the data exchange between the different components of the substation is going to be facilitated by using a serial bus okay and this bay level and station level all the control monitoring aspects are going to be taken into account and everything with your bay bay and your control everything is going to be depicted in a control panel with your mimic diagram so as soon as you enter the substation itself you have the mimic diagram of your substation okay wherein they initially explain all the concepts before entering into the substation okay so that is what it has been shown in the diagram process level you get all the inputs it is going to be fed through a numerical relay okay at the bay level accordingly based on the data which is going to be received so when we went actually one bay was uh, it was kept for maintenance because the ct has got burnt out okay and the fiber optic cables re related to that uh, and the wave traps we have been living we, we have got the opportunity to see how the cables will be and how the wave trap will be okay so at the bay level all these data and we have seen when we have come to the station level so we have seen okay in the bay level we just check through the relays whether it is working or not and we have we could see the circuit breakers sf circuit breakers and all from a longer distance but when we have come to the station level we could see in your pcs as well as in your annunciators that okay this bay is under maintenance and in this bay if at all a fault occurs then the alarm is getting sounded if the line is getting overloaded in this 765 feeder feeder what happens so all these things can be visualized okay so with this your uh, unit 5 comes to an end uh, thank you students if at all you have any doubts or uh, queries just post it to me thank you students